Hey guys, what's up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. In this video, I want to touch on networking. Somebody shot me an email and wanted me to touch on the challenges of networking and how I deal with networking within the workplace. I'm going to read the email, give you some context on this. I thought it was a really good email uh, and I wanted to share it with you um, and touch on the fact because I think this is important because networking, in my opinion, is vital to the growth of our professional careers okay once we get into the workplace and once we land a job networking is something that can propel us further to bigger and better things and i'll share with you my thoughts on that but i want to touch on the email and respond to the email directly um let me uh read the email really quick and just to give you some context i'm going to keep it private not going to say the person's name or the company that they work for it goes like this uh, hey mike I would love to hear you talk about networking and how to network with other designers and developers within a company. I'm noticing that networking isn't as easy as I thought it would be. I landed a product designer position at, insert big tech company there, um, this year and thought this would be an amazing opportunity for me to network with other designers and developers. Please share your experience on this. By the way, I'm a product designer today all because of your training course and all the motivational videos you keep on making. I've learned so much timeless advice from you, I just can't stop. Every day, I'm heads down grinding. Thank you. Shout out to this person. You know who you are if you're watching this. Um, uh, thank you so much for the email. And for the kind words and in my opinion you've already won you're you're there you succeeded in the things that i i in my opinion and in, in getting people to that um to that situation um now it's just for you to continue to watch videos and we both motivate each other and continue to propel from that point on but the fact that you got a job that's awesome and you're working for a big tech company um so here's the situation um <clears throat> Networking is important. It's vital. Why? Because it allows us to use networking leverage or networking um, connections um, to help us propel ourselves further throughout our careers. Networking, in the way I see it, networking is just building connections. And networking happens indirectly. Networking is not what I think of like, you know, handing out business cards and whatnot, and you have to build a certain connection. It, in my opinion, is just connections you build in a workplace that comes naturally through um, the length of time that you're there at that particular company. Okay, so um, networking happens just by you working with a particular developer, designer, um, you know, senior leader, or whatever. Okay, that's when I think of networking. Now, networking to answer this person's email, networking. There are situations when you work at a particular company, I can name several that companies that I've worked for where there's no chemistry amongst anybody. There's no leader in that company that you um, look up to, that you, you feel you know is, is smarter than you and is a leader that kind of builds a connection with you. Um, you ever been to a company where you're like, like the, the, that there's really no one that I could look up to as a mentor that happens <clears throat> but at the same time there there are situations where when you don't build a connection with anybody okay that happens you know i've been to i've been worked for seven or eight companies now nine companies and there are situations where that won't happen but then there's other com situations where you do build connections and in those other situations i'm going to list out three different types of, of of networking connections one is the senior level senior, senior level VP type of connection. These are the best connections in my opinion because when you connect with the VP or somebody that's higher up, it can be in a different department or whatever, but you somehow either work with them indirectly, you worked on a project with them, they know who you are, they ask you for certain things, they know that you can deliver on products. These VPs, these are the best type of connections to have because when they leave, when they when they go to from company to company, they tend to bring people strong um, talent that they know to those companies. Um, uh, an experience that I've talked about several times at Fox, 
our VP there, Adam Bain, left Fox and went to Twitter and he brought a bunch of people over. He even called me directly on my cell phone and offered me a to lead up Twitter's um, UX um, situation when it come in, in their ad space because at Fox we worked on the ad platform, um, the advertising platform. So, but I I turned that down because I would have had to move to to San Francisco, and I'm heavily rooted in Los Angeles. So that was a good situation there. I know another um, director at Yahoo that I worked with directly went to a startup in San Francisco. Also. Um, would have uh, hired me there. Um, several other VPs went to up north to San Francisco and I could have got jobs there. I work for a VP now. I met a really solid VP at, at CBS Interactive. Also, I work for someone now who is very high up at ADP and he brings over a lot of people from other past companies that he was worked with. So if he was to leave, I know he would probably offer me some. So the point here, those VPs for that particular reason is is, is vital. Now the other two situations are are colleagues, like um, just colleagues that you work with on on an equal basis. You know, not someone that is higher up than you, but just someone that you work with in different departments. Develop from front end developers, back end engineers, etc. The the second type of connection is just the um, the connection on LinkedIn, right? You know somebody, they give you a referral, you give them a referral on LinkedIn. If they go to another company, you have an, an in, someone to give your resume to so that they can submit that resume to the company and so forth. So if you once, once you've built these connections over several years, you should never be out of job for like six months, right? Let's just say you happen to get laid off. Within the first month, you should have a, an array of people to reach out to through email, through LinkedIn, through phone calls, you know, and texts and things like that. That's where those connections are vital, right? Just by meeting people, you know, I know several developers that I work with. So if they were happen to leave the company, I, they might say, I might say, you know what, I'm going to give you a referral on LinkedIn. And then they reciprocate, you know, they, they, they give me a referral in exchange and whatnot, you know? And so I have a built up referral list. I haven't done it recently, but that, when I was switching jobs often, uh, I would do that. The last one is amongst colleagues, and this one is for personal um, entrepreneurial reasons. And that is building, when you've worked with developers, worked with front-end developers, worked with back-end developers, <clears throat> you meet them and you use them for your own personal um, entrepreneurial projects. I'll give you an example. Um, obviously, if you really mesh well with people, you had Elon Musk, right? Him and his partner at PayPal that left PayPal and went on to do bigger, better things. Two, two, um, two friends built MySpace. Obviously, um, Mark Zuckerberg and his friends in, in college built Facebook as Mark Zuckerberg was the, um, the leader of that. But he had a lot of other friends who helped him propel um, that, that, that app. <clears throat> In my case, at some point over the next three years or so, I'm going to be building a business app. I don't have uh, the exact idea yet, and I haven't committed to it because I have so much on my plate. But I know too much about software development in terms of building, like from the UI, UX design standpoint. And I know too many people in this space to let that idea not even be touched. So at some point, in the next one to three years, I'm gonna be building my own business app, software as a service type of app, potentially, um, or some type of app, and I'm gonna leverage people that I know. Um, they're either gonna pay them directly to work on this over the weekend, or offer them you know, some sort of type, type of uh, a percentage in the business you know, and, and work together on that. So in my opinion, that connection that type of networking is what I consider is vital to the growth um, in our career in as a professional, you know. So you have connections where you're out there and you're securing your landscape in terms of landing a job and the possibilities of, of, of having a job and having ends to different companies. But the lastly is the one where you leverage the developers and different type of technical skills 
to help you propel your own entrepreneurial projects. So that's how I look at networking. And again, networking is all about things you do indirectly just to the connections you, and you have to, you have to kind of be the one to push these, the, these other colleagues of yours, you know, whatnot, because a lot of people aren't entrepreneurial. A lot of people just like to do their work and go home and go about their business on the weekend. You have to be the one to entice them to say, Hey, would you help me build this? You know, would you help me do this? I'll pay you or, or vice versa, you know, stuff like that. So that's how I look at it. And then how do you go about building connections? Just be nice. If you're not, if you're nice and you're not a jerk and you help people out and you're nice to people within the company, those connections will build uh, naturally. That's my thoughts on networking within a company. Hopefully this was helpful. You can use something or you can learn something from it and uh, start to think about this in your workplace. Anyway, thanks for watching the videos, guys. If you like the things I talk about, hit the thumbs up. And as always, visit my website, mlwebco.com. If uh, you want to shoot me a question, use the contact link on my site. I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. We'll talk soon, guys. Until next video, peace.